Welcome, welcome, welcome. Say good morning, baby girl. I know you can. I know you can talk. I know you understand what I'm saying. This morning, in two minutes, taught her how to fetch. She understood the word fetch. Fetch, girl. Get the ball. Get the ball. She's playing dumb. I don't even know if she's a dog. I think that she's some other. What are you chewing on? I don't think that she's a um, a, a polymorph. Is that what they call that? But she's too smart to be a dog. Anyway, let's talk about Kid and Play. Anybody remember Kid and Play? Well, Kid and Play are back, and so are the Nazis. And I'm about to show you what we mean by that. By we, I don't mean the decree, the um, royal decree. I've never bought into that mess about let us create men in our image, in, in our likeness. Let us create them. Never bought into the royal decree nonsense. That It's just an explanation. It's just a cop-out. It's just an easier way to say, I have no idea what they're talking about here, and I'm afraid to admit that I don't know what's going on here. So they say it's a royal decree, as in courtly. You know, like the queen, We must get out the rebels from the forest. Because they're pissing on all the trees. That's not what that means. And yes, the word pisseth, piss, does appear in the Bible. As does ass, several times. So, let's continue on with this morning's non-study. This is not an entertainment channel. So, if you're looking to be entertained, go to, um, well, right off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that I would direct you to, anything worthwhile anyway. Uh, I spend most of my time watching The Office. Sometimes I get really funky and watch, there she goes, told you, told you. She knew exactly what I was talking about, but she wanted to wait until she wasn't on the fetch. Get it, girl. Anyway, um... I totally forgot what I was talking about. Local immigration and customs enforcement agents. Driven out is one of the reporters who broke this base New York Times. It's kid and play. There he is. Is it what it was a kid and play song? Oh, and the Nazis are back. The Nazis are back. Now, listen, please understand something. I am not against border protection. I'm not against, um, I am against stopping people who are just trying to make their life better and to try to protect their children and give them something better than what they have. I am against anyone who is against that. If you want to, uh... See, but I think he's. I think that it is very responsible to guard your 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 borders because who knows who's coming across? We're not talking about good folk alone. There's a lot of good people that come through that have felt there's no other way and there's no choice and they're ready to risk life and limb to get here. Um, I've seen people from Romania from. Um, all, all, all countries, not just Mexico and Puerto Vallarta, uh, um, Guadalajara. And, I mean, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Guada, wait a minute. What the heck is the name of that country? You know it, right? Man, you need some stuff for your pawn. I can't afford it. I ain't got it. Um, Guatemala. Etc. You know, we're we're not talking about just people from there. We're talking about people 
that could be sneaking in here from Iran, from um, Iraq, uh, Kazakhstan, any of the nations where we have to be strongly concerned about people coming here to do great damage to life and limb. And we have to protect against that. So for all your protests and all, all you're doing is creating a huge mess. Um, if you want to protest, go online and do it. Protest your heart out. But you're wasting resources. You're causing anger. But we do have to protect our borders. Because some jerk, Nazi, not the kid and play guy. But so anyone that feels as though they, they have an issue with our country, if we didn't vigilantly protect our borders, which we really, Mexico, I mean, Mexico, I never thought was the problem. The problem is north. The problem is north. There's, it's just, what are you going to do? You know, you're going to deploy um, border agents in the water to stand at the beaches. Um, the problem is north. It's not south. But apparently... In the great wisdom of our almighty leader, and I say the almighty word only in the... All right, I back that word up. He's not almighty, but the people have portrayed him as almighty. And um, I'm getting uh, comments about his um, activity. And look, listen, please... Focus on the truth. The truth is the man is a scumbag. I didn't know that there could be someone that was more scummier than me until I saw Donald Trump. But he is bleeding, leeching, filth. It comes out of his skin. His sheets are stained with it. His wife doesn't want to even touch him anymore, man. And it has nothing to do with the power that has corrupted him so completely, has completely made his mind. Megalomania doesn't even compare to what is going on here. But I, I can't say he's the best president, but he's the only president that we got right now. And he was right for pulling out of the Iran deal, which was too late anyway. They got the money. They got the money. And they got the support of the nations. And they, they got more back doors open. And they've been shipping stuff out of Iran and into Iran for ever. So you haven't stopped anything. You've done nothing. With um, us pulling out of Syria, basically what we did was opened another door. Here you go, Russia. Give them whatever you want to. Um, so... Besides being, you know, probably, and I'm not guaranteeing this because I don't know, but in my own estimation, with my own two eyes, I have seen evidence of treason. Um, I'd love to know how old those prostitutes that he had urinating on him in Russia were. Please, Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Putin, release those emails. Release those 3,000 emails on Hillary, I mean, Donald Trump. Please, Mr. Putin, release those videos. We want to see what you got. Well, I don't want to see him getting urinated on, but quite frankly, we want to see the videos. They're out there. They exist. They exist. Uh, the man was a... Sociopath? Social-opath? Social opath. Um, narcissist. and I mean, it just doesn't matter whatever you want to call him. He's our president now. So we don't have a choice. We have to support him. Um, not allowed to vote because I wouldn't vote for anybody anyway. But still not allowed to vote. But this great country that we have that is under all of this authority has sought their great wisdom. To charge me $7,000 in fines for one DUI where I was not drunk. Um, my tailpipe was dragging. And I didn't want them poking me, taking blood from me. So I practiced my constitutional right not to um, 
allow them to remove my blood from my body because it just doesn't reveal. You see, when they do urine tests and blood tests, it's just, they're not just looking at your alcohol content. They're looking at all of your medical information, all of your history. They have your DNA, everything. And that is what's unconstitutional about blood draws in the hospital to prove um, whether or not you were on drugs or not or whatever, which I was not on drugs. So I was charged with the DUI, driving under the influence of alcohol. But uh, anyway, the point is, my exact point here is that given this situation here, um, right or wrong, <clears throat> they're right. We have to stop terrorists from walking across our border with a potential massive destruction weapon. All right, but no... Um, we are far beyond that now. This is, it's biological terror. All right. China is a great place to release, uh, a virus as we saw. And we're seeing right now 67 or 68, 70,000. Who knows how many cases they have. China's never told us the truth about anything. So why would they start now? But you are stopping someone from potentially walking across the border with one of those quote unquote lost um, suitcase bombs that Russia disappeared. So, um, going to say um about 27 more times until I hang up. Anyway, look for the Nazis in your town because this isn't about, this is, this is practice. You understand that? They're role-playing right now. Sure, they're looking for whatever they're looking for. They're going to say we're looking for illegals. They're going to say, but this is really practice. This is about locking our country down. If you can't see it, then you're blind as a bat and you need to get some glasses. I got some for sale right here. I think I'm going to sell my old products. But I'm telling you right now that you are pretending not to see it. If you don't see the absolute positive lockdown of our country, I'm telling you that these are end time signs. Do you know why? It's not just one or two or 30. How about 780 signs this year so far? How about that? Um, we're not going to go. I ain't got time for it. But the literal... Literal attack on Australia. I'm talking nature. I'm talking everything. Whatever. I don't know what Australia did. But I do know that they are in the midst of a horrific judgment. Um, China, we already know, man. We already know. China, China has never been one for civil rights. And if you don't worship their God or that who they tell you to worship, then... You're in trouble. Um, and there's a whole bunch of cults coming out of China. Crazy stuff coming out of China. But it is not Antichrist. Unless he's a Jew living in China. Antichrist is not coming from China. So you have to read Daniel. You have to read the scriptures through Daniel. And you have to understand who the Jews are waiting for. The Jewish people are waiting for their Messiah. From the line of David. They're waiting for the resurrected David. So um, they're waiting for the resurrected Holy of Holies, which in my humble opinion, they will try to build up their own Temple Mount next to, in conjunction with, in union with, um, the Dome of the Rock, which is probably where the Holy of Holies should be. I don't know. I'm not a scholar. This is my good guess. Okay, the stone in there is probably the stone from the altar, uh, from the original altar. And uh, the the stone that Abraham took Isaac to, not Ishmael. I don't know for sure though. I don't I don't have any historical proof. But to remove the dome of the rock will mean war. Anyway, let's get let's get back to this. Um, so you see the lockdown of our country yet? Do you see it? The police state that we live in. Uh, it's absolute, and it is I mean complete. You can't do nothing. You can't pick your nose without someone being able to see it. 
You can't scratch your testicles in the shower without someone watching you if they want to. That's no joke. They can turn on your phone. 5G is the worst possible thing that we could have put in your homes. Um, you think that you have to have the best and the newest? You're wrong. You don't. But I was trained I was trained to that, and that's why I have such a criminal record. Because I had to have the newest and the best. Anyhow, God bless you. Yesterday. Today is not the Holy Sabbath. Today is the Sabbath of men. And uh, if you want to go worship God on the Sabbath of men, that's fine. But you should at least know who made this Sabbath. It wasn't, it wasn't God. This was created by men to control men. So, <clears throat> I guess I got to go to my, maybe my last stop at church today. I don't know. The family wants to come, but this might be my last. I'm trying to obey God, and it's not always easy, especially when it comes to walking into a place where you know that the people look at you like you are an ass. Yeah, that's right. It's scriptural. So, when you see the children smiling and laughing at you in a different manner than they used to, because they used to, it was cool. I was like, oh, here, here comes the weirdo. But now I am the looking for a handout weirdo, and I can't bear that anymore. So, guys, I want to say God bless you today. Baruch Hashem.